Today we are going to learn how to calibrate the Oakton multi-parameter pocket meter for pH. In order to complete this calibration process, we need a few materials. First of all, we need a large container filled with tap water to rinse our meter in between calibration steps. And then we also need three smaller containers filled with pH calibration standards or buffers. We need a neutral solution with a pH of 7, an acidic solution with a pH of 4, and a basic solution with a pH of 10. To calibrate your meter, you need to turn it on and ensure that it is in pH mode. To start the calibration, we're going to push the calibration button. You can see that this bottom display, or the secondary display, is flashing the pH values of each of the pH standard solutions. We're going to begin by immersing our meter in the neutral solution with the pH of 7. The primary display reads the actual pH value of the container, and the secondary display will show the closest pH standard. When the meter is immersed, we must wait for the primary display to stabilize. Once the primary display has stabilized, we will push the mode enter button. The primary display will flash and the secondary display will show the other calibration standards in which we can calibrate our meter. Before we can use either of those standards, we need to rinse our meter. So I'm going to rinse my meter three times with the tap water. We can use either the acidic or the basic solution next. So we will choose one and immerse our meter. Again, the primary display is going to read the actual value of the container and the secondary display will read the closest pH calibration standard. We are going to wait for the primary display to stabilize. Once the primary display stabilizes, we push the mode enter button. Again, the primary display will flash and the secondary display will read the other calibration standards in which we can use to calibrate our meter. Before using the last standard, we are going to rinse our meter. After rinsing our meter, we will immerse it in the final calibration standard and wait for the primary display to stabilize. When the primary display has stabilized, we will push the mode enter button. The primary display will flash and our meter will return to measurement mode. We can rinse our meter once more. And our meter is now ready to measure pH in the field. Thanks for watching.